If we had simply multiplied frequency by severity we would have obtained different results. Let's check it out. In cell A19, type multiplication losses to label the eventual output variable. In cell B19, simply write the function that multiplies B13 B14, which are the two cells that previously contained the Poisson frequency distribution and the log normal severity distribution. Now, by clicking on the output data button, declare such cell B19 as an output variable using the suggested name. Confirm the inclusion by clicking on the Add Output button and now proceed to simulate 5000 iterations, making sure of this number in the Parameters button. Having finished the simulation, we can compare both losses with the S-Curve button. Mark the two existing outputs while holding the Control key. When you type OK, the compared graph will look like this. Notice that the red multiplication loss curve has a much larger range of probable outcomes in both directions, even when they intersect somewhere around the 70th percentile. If we look at each of the curves separately with their generated histograms, both curves will look like this. Loss by multiplication becomes totally asymmetric even though its mean is very similar to the mean of loss by convolution. This is the only thing that both curves will agree on, their mean. Note, once again, the original convolutional histogram, by clicking on cell B18. In my case, the maximum amount was higher than $1.5 million, which is a figure many times greater than that generated by means of convolution. This is the impact of multiplication, that it will catch some very high iterations in both frequency and severity and generate instances or iterations with exaggeratedly high values.